This video will describe how to work a problem in static equilibrium involving a beam. The static equilibrium problems have some common themes. We will be using the principle of the equilibrium in that the x forces must add up to zero, the forces in the y direction must add up to zero, and the torques add up to zero. So taking a look at the problem here, on the left we have some wall and uh, a hinge mounted on that wall. It's going to, the hinge is going to supply a force in the x direction pushing out on the beam and a force in y direction holding up this end of the beam at the wall. We have a cable with tension in it. The tension is T and T is unknown. We're given the angle of 40 degrees at the top of our triangle. The beam itself has a mass of 10 kilograms and is 3 meters long. We have an extra mass attached, 30 kilograms and this is at 2.6 meters from the wall. The uh, beam has a center of gravity. So we start these problems by drawing it out and placing the force arrows at the correct position. So in terms of the Y forces balancing and making zero, let's take a look at what we have. Well, the hinge, that's a positive Y force, so F sub Y. The tension in the cable has an upward component, T sub y, and 40 degrees up there, 40 degrees down here, we would find that uh, T sub y is equal to T times the cosine of theta, we're next to the uh, side here. Um, in the downward direction, we have the weight of the beam, and we have the weight of the extra load that's attached to the beam. So here's what the uh, y equation looks like. There are two unknowns, the force component in the y direction, and that's at the hinge, and then the tension in the cable, and we're working with the uh, uh, component here, of course, of the, of the tension. The tension is at an angle that's not x and it's not y. We have to find the components of that vector. In the x direction, we have f of x from the wall pushing outward, and we have t sub x, component of the tension that's pushing into the wall. There are no other x forces. So f of x minus t sine 40 degrees. Again, the uh, 40 degrees right here. We want to know this uh, t sub x quantity. So we use the sine function to accomplish that. And then no torques. So again, we make the axis of rotation at the hinge. And let's go ahead and carry this on through. So our x equation, y equation, there are two unknowns we can't solve. But if we take a look at the torque equation, let's put the uh, axis at the hinge. That gets rid of two unknowns, fx and f sub y. And now we have a hinge here. And we had, again, 10 kilograms for the beam. It's three meters long. So when we attach the weight vector, the mg, we attach it at the center of gravity of the object. And we get it pointing in the correct direction. So center mass is going to be at the 1.5 meter mark. And the uh, calculations can uh, can proceed with the center gravity giving a, a torque as well. And the cable out here at the end, the tension is not in the x or the y direction, so we had to use components. Okay, back to the hinge. So put the axis at the hinge. There's no torque from the x and y components of the force at the hinge. So let's balance the clockwise and the counterclockwise torques. So choosing the uh, center of gravity of the object, the mass 10 kilograms times 9.8, it's 1.5 meters for lever arm. And those are perpendicular, the force and the lever arm, so we're OK. Then we have the 30 kilogram load uh, times 9.8 and 2.6 meters from the axis of rotation. And finally, we have an upward component for the, uh, the tension in the string. 
It has a full three meters for lever arm, but T cosine 40 degrees gets us the, uh, the upward component. Why didn't I use T sine of 40 degrees times three meters? Well, T times sine of 40 degrees, that's a force in the X direction. It has no torque. Uh, we need something perpendicular to our, our lever arm. So simplifying this and you know, setting it up with the clockwise torques um, being the negatives, um, we find that the tension is the only unknown in this torque equation, and we get roughly 397 newtons. Once we know the tension, now we can come back to one of these earlier equations and calculate the y and the x components. So we find that the force in the y direction at the hinge is 88.2 newtons. And then doing another calculation with the x uh, equation, we find that the force in the x direction is 255 newtons. And we solved this problem. We found the three unknowns, the tension in the cable, and the x and y components of the force the hinge applies to the beam. Keep practicing.